a WWE Hall of Fame wrestler with ties to the Motor City, wants his life experience to be a cautionary tale, especially for children. Abdullah the Butcher is from Windsor. His mother is an Ann Arbor native. He says what he didn't learn growing up has affected his way of life, especially now. Our Victor Williams traveled to Atlanta to meet one of wrestling's wildest villains. Abdullah reaching into his tights, pulling out some sort of object. We may have to call it off. I was wrestling everybody in there. Larry Shreve, a.k.a. Abdullah the Butcher, spent the 1970s through the early 2000s as one of the most brutal pro wrestlers in the industry, wrestling for companies all across the globe. Over the span of his career, he's gone head-to-head -head with legends such as Hulk Hogan, battling back simply Bruiser Brody, and there he goes. Look at that karate. And Andre the Giant. Now this is competition. This is what Abdullah has always wanted. Earning multiple championships internationally. But despite all his success, the WWE Hall of Famer barely has a penny to his name. All what I've worked for in, in the wrestling business by acting crazy, beating my head up against the wall, doing this, doing that, I might not have nothing pretty soon. Abdullah says he struggled in school and never learned how to read or write. Eventually, he dropped out and started wrestling around the age of 17. Now in his 80s, he never thought his life would end up in this position. Well, at 82 years old, I, I sit in my room a lot of times and you see that I work for nothing. Abdullah says being illiterate has cost him a lot, especially financially. One example, he says he lost $2.3 million in a lawsuit to another wrestler in 2014 because he couldn't understand the legal process. He says he had no idea he was being summoned to court and lost the case by default. His sister called in from Canada and said, Abdullah, do you realize you lost some lawsuit in Canada? And he said, what lawsuit? Malika Marshall is the assistant who has now stepped in the role of translator for the wrestler whenever he needs to read or write. This is an 82-year-old man, so he's about to lose everything. Back in his glory days, Abdullah the Butcher really believed in giving back to the community. After all, right here in southwest Atlanta was the location of one of his restaurants that is now closed down right next door to the William Walker Rec Center, where he also played a very big part. He put on a show at our site up there, fundraising to help support our youth program at the gym. He and his wife also donated uh, supplies and equipment for our facility when they built it in 1997. Abdullah was always a mentor to our kids. Other wrestlers like Ranger Ross say Abdullah has always tried placing his local community first over anything else. Here's a guy, he would give you the shirt off his back. The same thing is echoed by Abdullah's former tag team partner from Japan, Greg Brown. He's still butch to do me, you know, he's still butch. Abdullah says he made a fine living as a wrestler, but feels his inability to read has cost him in the long run. He also says the profit from the final restaurant that bears his name is going elsewhere. In my opinion, I've been ripped off so bad it's unbelievable and still getting ripped off. It's one sad road he doesn't want anyone going down. I tell every kid, every entertainer, make sure you go to school. Because if you don't go to school, in the long run, you're the loser. Victor Williams, Local 4. A very important lesson for all. We just hope that community that he has supported so much is there for him as well.